At Durrell Asia, your family's safety is our top priority. As a leading juvenile products provider, Durrell Asia honors its responsibility to parents and caregivers to offer products with the highest quality and standards for its customers. Our cribs are regularly tested by independent testing laboratories to certify they meet and exceed all government and industry standards and provide a safe sleeping environment for children. Ensuring the crib is routinely inspected is equally important. As with any product, particular attention should be paid to the manufacturer's instructions for proper assembly and function of the cribs and their intended use. This video was created to provide some very important tips and things to look for when assembling and using cribs. The assembly tips you are about to review are not limited to the particular crib in this video. This important information is applicable to all Durrell Asia cribs. This video will focus on proper assembly and function of the drop side, proper assembly of mattress support, the attachment hardware, as well as what needs to be done on a regular basis to ensure the crib continues to provide a safe sleeping environment for your child. If you are just assembling this product for the first time, please first make sure that you do a thorough inventory of all parts using the paper instructional manual as a reference. Carefully inspect all of the parts, including the hardware, looking for any damage which may have occurred from shipping and handling. See your paper manual for detailed assembly instructions. It is located in the pouch attached to the mattress support. Always refer to the provided instruction manual to ensure the correct screws are used in the correct location. When assembling this particular crib, the hardware should always insert smoothly and never over tighten the bolts. Over tightening the bolts can result in damage to the hardware which may compromise the structural integrity of the crib, which could become apparent in the future. It is important that your mattress support is properly installed. With the mattress support edge facing up, the mattress will not sit properly on the mattress support. With the corner tabs facing up, the mattress support will not be well balanced. This could cause unwanted stress on the crib, causing structural failure. This is how your mattress support should look. The flat surface of the mattress support should always face up. The support tabs on all four corners should also always face up. Having the mattress support assembled in the proper way will allow the baby mattress to sit flat on the mattress support and will not cause unnecessary stresses on the rest of the crib components, as well as provide a well-balanced mattress support. Making sure that the drop side end of your crib is properly installed is extremely important. Please note, it is recommended to have two people attach the drop side. The first step is to position and align the drop side with the tracks. Please pay close attention to the alignment of the upper track on the front post of the upper guide on the drop side. Then on the lower corner, make sure that the lower guide on the drop side is aligned with the lower tracks on the crib's front post. In the second step, in order to make sure the lower guides are secured to the tracks, the spring activated finger must be pulled out towards you before sliding it onto the track. This is how it will look if it's not properly installed. And here we see the lower guides correctly aligned and secured to the tracks. In the third step, it is important that the rubber bumpers are properly installed on the lower tracks as shown. This is what keeps the drop side from falling to the ground when it's in the lowered position. Raise the drop side up, making sure that it smoothly glides and locks into place. In order to properly lower the drop side, with one hand slightly raise the drop side. With your leg, apply a little pressure on the lower horizontal rail and then lower the drop side. And please remember that the drop side must always be raised and locked in its upright position when a child is in the crib. Every time you lower and then raise the drop side, please verify that it is securely locked into place. Whether the crib has just been purchased and assembled for the first time, or it has been owned and used for some time now, we strongly recommend that you perform a thorough inspection to ensure there are no damaged or loose components that may have been caused by shipping and handling. And please continue to periodically inspect the crib for damaged slats that may have gone unnoticed when first purchased or become damaged over time. 
It is also important to periodically verify if any hardware may have become loose and needs retightening. You must ensure that your crib has been properly assembled and the drop side is functioning properly prior to installing this immobilizer kit. Once verified, follow the next steps. If at any point you found that you may need assistance or have a specific question, please contact customer service at 1-800-295-1980. Please note, it's extremely important to periodically check all screws and hardware especially the hardware which secures the drop side to the bed frame. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the rubber bumpers located on the front lower tracks on both the left and right legs of the crib. Next, locate the left and right immobilizers. Gently raise the front legs of the crib and slide the left immobilizer, marked L, onto the lower metal track as shown. Continue to slide the immobilizer up until it snaps into place. Using the Phillips screwdriver, attach the rubber bumper into the appropriate hole in the immobilizer. Now repeat these steps on the right side of the crib, sliding the right immobilizer up the track until it securely snaps into place. Screw the other rubber bumper tightly, locking the immobilizer to the drop side. Make sure that the drop side is permanently locked into place. Please note, in order to disassemble the crib, the immobilizers must first be removed. To remove the immobilizers, gently unsnap them from the drop side railing and slide them down and off the tracks. The immobilizers must be kept together with the other crib parts while in storage. For future reference, the original instructions as well as instructions provided for the immobilizer kit should be kept in the pouch attached to the metal mattress support. For any additional information for proper drop side installation and operation, please contact us by phone at 1-800-295-1980.